Michael, did the break come a good time for the university group? I think it did. Um, yeah, we went into the break losing the last three games. It's, it's not ideal, but um, it has been a um, tough season so far, um, especially on you know, the bodies and mentally and that. So, um, yeah, hopefully the guys went went away, um, recovered um, and you know, physically and mentally and, and, and ready to go for the second half of the season. You, from that point of view, after missing a lot of footy last year, how's the body going? Yeah, good, good. Um, again, I think I think the bye came at the right time. I've, I've played 12 games so far this year, all, all games. And you look at, look at last year, I only played four. So um, the body is feeling a bit, but um, it was just good to get away and get a, uh, a freshener and, and go down south and, and relax with the with the family. Um, yeah, so it's it's come at the right time. Can we ask about your season so far? How, how have you travelled? I mean, you did have so much footy off last year. Uh, did you find it hard early on um, to get going and get into any sort of rhythm? And there's always expectations on your ability as a footballer as well. You set a, such a high benchmark. Yeah, it's, just, it's, always, it's always hard to get back into to the rhythm, of, uh, rhythm and um, especially the pace of the game. And, uh, and you know, I'm not, I'm not getting any, any younger, so... Um, um, but, you know, I thought I, I'd, I'd train well over, over pre-season. I think I'd done the work when it came to kilometres and, and and the amount of sessions we did. So um, I sort of backed myself in and, and backed the, the strength and conditioning coaches. So, um, you know, I'm lucky enough to, to play a lot of games uh, so far. So use my experience to, to, especially when I'm out in the field, use my experience and, and get myself up and going. So, um, yeah, you look at last year and, and had the, you know, with the, with the hamstring and, and stuff and the setback. So, um, it was always going to be challenging to come back in and 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 sort of fit right in, but I thought I, I've, I've worked really hard and and, and I'm starting to play some good footy, so um, hopefully I can keep carrying it on for the um, for the team. After those early couple of rounds, did you ever think that maybe the game had gone past you, or did you have the confidence that you'd get up there? No, I still had confidence. Um, it was just a little, just a, the pace of the game that, that sort of caught me out. There's a couple there's a couple of games where I've, I've it was costly turnovers, but you know, I backed myself in, and and, um, and 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 I know the coaches uh, did as well. So um, you know, we're playing with consistent footy now. Did, did going into the ruck help you maybe pick up the speed of the game quicker because you were around the ball a little bit more? Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, I do like like a little pinch in, in the ruck, but um, I don't I don't get paid to play in the ruck, so I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy playing the back line and, and sort of controlling it down there. But um, yeah, whenever whenever Ross needs needs a bit of a change up, I'm I'm happy to put my hand up. You know, if it's playing up forward to to get us going or, or bit in the ruck to help Aaron and the other ruckman, it's uh, I'm I'm happy to do that. I, I played that role over my career so far, so um, yeah, I really enjoy it and, and anything for the team, pretty much. Did the off-field drama affect you at all, Jono? Ah, uh, no. no, not at all. Mentally, it didn't disturb you and affect your preparation in any way to games. No, no. I, I thought I, I, I started playing really good footy when when the stuff was going on. So, um, yeah, there's no no making excuses. It's um, it was just getting back into the, the the rhythm of the game and you know, the speed of the game. It's um, you, know, you, you look at players around the competition that that have missed a, a big chunks of footy and get back into the game. It, it does. You, know, you, you look at the J, JLT Cup. It's, it's a little bit slower, and yeah, a lot of players are just getting back into it. But to, to miss a whole season and, and come back out, you know, Nathan's done the same thing. So, um, no, I don't, don't think so. You were part of the leadership group when all that off-field stuff happened. How hard was it for you to, to you know, front up to your teammates knowing that happened? Uh, yeah, I, I knew I, 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 um, I'm the one who got myself in trouble, so I had to stand up and 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 um, show you know, a bit of leadership and, and stand up and, and tell them why and, and what happened. And um, but um, you know we, we've got a really good group here, and you know the support that the guys at the ga um, gave me around around the um, around that time. It's um, yeah, I couldn't thank them enough. So um, I still see myself as a leader. So. Um, I don't think anything's changes. So you, yeah. Now you mentioned about being a leader. 
Michael, um, there's been a fair bit of change in the side this year, and you, in defence, there's been some young players blooded. How have you seen that, and what sort of your role been to integrate those players? Yeah, it's um, every year there's always changes, so it's, it's trying to adapt and, and, and learn the strengths and weaknesses of all, all different players, but you know, the, the great thing about it is yeah, you're getting a lot of young players come in and, and playing their role for the team. So you've got Joel Hamlin come from a really good quality side, um, bringing a bit of experience and, and knowledge over and, and teaching other players that have only been on the um, on, in the system for a couple of years. So it's all about um, you know, working together, uh, finding weaknesses, strengths and, and um, going out there and, and playing together. So um, it's just great to see players like Lee, Ethan Hughes get a, get a crack and um, Lockie Wellers um, starting to play some really good footy. So it's Yes, the, the youth for the club is really good and you know, being able to play, it's, it's great to see that. And you said your body's holding up well, um, no contract for next season at this stage, do you see yourself um, playing on? Um, yeah, unsure yet, unsure. I've, I'm, I came to, into this season knowing that I was out of contract in the season at the end of this year and all I wanted to do was just play, play some footy, play a couple of games and, and play some consistent footy for Fremantle. I'm not... I'm a player that's never, never, sort of, um, sort of had, you know, the contract talk sort of interrupt my 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 career at all, and and I'm always I'm always keen to sort of push out aside and just play consistent for three minutes. So, whatever happens at the end of the year happens, and um, I know I'm I'm getting old. I'm I'm 33 at the end of the year, so. Um, there's, there's some really good quality young uh, defenders coming through the ranks at Fremantle. So um, when it, if it is if it is my time, I'm I'm happy to move on. But um, all I'm worried about is just coming and playing consistent footy for Fremantle and helping all the young guys and and and, and represent the, the club. When you say you're unsure, is that unsure whether you want to play on or unsure whether you've got a position at the footy club next year? Uh, no, it's just like I said, it's um, you know, I'm not. Never focused on uh, the, the future. It's always, always, um, especially after missing last year and, and not playing uh, a lot of footy. It was just all about playing some football for Fremantle this year. And, and if it happens, it happens next year. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll be it'll be great to, to stick around. But um, yeah, the, you know, I leave sort of sort of all that talk to to my manager Cole Young, and, and he can sort of sort that out. I'm I'm here to play footy and, and represent for a matter of footy club. Yeah, will you come down to your will you come down to your body, Michael? If you get through the full year, that will convince you. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, and 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 also, um, you know, the body and and the way I'm playing. Um, if it's good, really good football and AFL standard football, I'll I'll, I'll look to it, but. Um, all I'm worried about is you know, getting up each week and, and representing Fremantle and playing really good um, Fremantle football. Um, and I think that's nearly every player, you know. But um, there's always time when you do come out of contract. There's always talk. Um, you know, that's every player. It's part of the business we're in. And um, but yeah, I'm I'm just really keen on just getting out and, and playing, especially this this week over in Geelong. Uh, to Aaron's what are his chances do you think this week? Um, yeah, huge chance for Aaron. It's um, he's trained really hard. He's he's ticked all the bo boxes. So um, we we'll just wait and see. We still got two more sessions this week. Um, he had a kick around yesterday as well. So uh, two more sessions, and then um, hopefully the big fella can get up and, and, and um, jump on the bird with us. But um, it's just like every other player and. Um, other players come from injury. It's, it's it's about ticking the boxes leading into the f and, and then and it comes down to match committee. So um, the way I see, it, he's he's training well. He's he's done the done the work, and um, so it's it's up to the to the, the big rigs now. Yeah, the last three games haven't gone that well without him in the side. There's still that talk externally about how reliant you are as a team on him. What do you make of that? Oh, it is always tough to to for a ruckman to come in and and. Um, fill the fill Aaron's shoes, and um, it's, it's you know, I've, I've played in the ruck before. It's, it's a tough gig, and um, so you know, we we did have John Griffin come through. Um, I thought he competed really well, 
that um, just needed a backup ruck to sort of help and, and, and help around the ground. So, um, yeah, it would be great to have Aaron back because he's a very dominant player and, um, and help the mids out. So, um, if he does come in, it would be great for, for our players. But whoever, whoever does um, play for us, I know, know they'll play their role and um, we'll, be, we'll be going over there and, um, against Geelong and um, giving them a challenge. Michael, Geelong and Geelong is on Mass Alice, given their record there. Do you welcome such a huge challenge coming off the loss to Brisbane, who you know, clearly haven't done that well this year? Yeah, it's always a big challenge against uh, Geelong and Geelong. Um, I think we've, we've won the la uh, two out of two out of the five, I think, over there. So, um, yeah, we'll go over there and um, enjoy each other's company, jump on the bird uh, Friday and... Um, Go over there and um, do the job, hopefully. And um, but yeah, we, we still have a couple more sessions to get through and um, finalise the team later in the week. And um, but you know, it's always the good thing about the club. We we go and fly every second week and just get away and um, get amongst each other. So it's it's great for for the younger players to come on and, and experience all this stuff. And um, yeah, hopefully we can go over there and, and come away with the four points. And I understand um, the reasons why you couldn't comment about the pre-season incident you were involved with, but any regrets about how that played out from your point of view? Oh, massive, massive, but um, yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's a situation that you, you don't really want to be in, but um, again, you know, we I go to court later in the year and for my hearing, so a lot of more, so I can't really comment too much, so, um, but yeah. A lot of attention on you. How have you dealt with that? Personally, I mean, you get attention as a footballer, but this is attention of a different kind, isn't it? Yeah, it's not great, but you know, the support that you, you get from a lot of people around around the footy world, and you know, especially at your club, you know, the hierarchy and um, you know, the support staff around the club. You got your teammates, and then you got your friends and family that that are out, um, you know, supporting you um, day in day out. So um, I couldn't thank them enough. And but you know. We don't want any player to go through this because it's, um, you know, it's it's not what I do. I'm I'm here to play football, and and and, not good. and so you don't want to be in trouble at all throughout your career. But um, you know, it's it's been a challenge. But um, I think the support that I've been given it's it's been great, and I couldn't thank them enough. What about the effect on your family, buddy? That must have been hard, has it? I mean, it's not just you, is it? It's it's media at your house and stuff like that. It must have been. Yeah, it's not great, but it's. Um, I guess you know, I've. I, I have to cope with it, and um, you know, the family's not. wasn't wasn't happy at the at the at that time um, of the incident, but um, it's all about sticking together and, and get through it. So, um, and again, the club's been great. You know, the Kim Mercer and and Mark Anderson, the player welfare. Um, Workers at the club, it's um, they're the ones that have been been um, very supportive, and, and and that's just not me. That's you know, for my wife and, and kids as well. So.